What is up guys, welcome to the video. If you clicked on this video, you're probably really hard stuck with tank right now. You're getting flamed in your, in your ELO and you don't know what's going wrong. Now, I am gonna help you. This is no clickbait. This is no, oh my God, get, like look at this video. You're gonna be so good at McCree aim or whatever. No, I'm gonna be explaining to you, like I'm gonna be explaining to you the basic mechanics about playing as a tank. And if you have these basic mechanics, there is no way you're not at least diamond because like even in diamond some things don't know this and tank is so broken right now that if you cannot manage to carry with a tank after this video you are not gonna carry it with anything so let's get into the video the first thing I want to start off with is positioning and how to hold points because it might seem apparent to you, or you might have completely missed it. Some tanks die instantly, and some tanks seem to be unkillable. Now, think think of this great map, King's Row. This is like, I, I take this map because it's like the, the best map to explain things. A lot of Reinhardts stand here, right? Um, especially in low elo. And the enemies come in and they start swinging, start swinging. They get May Wall, they get Discord, uh, they fall back, uh, they die. Look, what you want to do is you want to shield for your team, right? Your, your team is do dealing damage. But what you want to do is use your environment as cover. So, for example, there's a lot of people coming in here. What I'm doing is I'm swinging like this. And if they're, like, trying to attack my backline, I, I shield them, I shield them, and I try to hold this again. I'm just holding this corner. As soon as I'm noticing, okay... This is getting a little bit too, too hot. They're, they're pushing in too fast. What I do is very simple. I just back up, back up, back up, and I hold another corner. I hold another corner. They're trying to come in, like right here. I'm holding back, I'm holding back. Like, and people don't have an angle on me. They just see an, a hammer swinging, and this hammer goes far, so like this. And then my, my healers who are here, and my DPS who are either on high ground here or behind me as well, they are completely fine to shoot the enemy because I do this occasionally shield and when I see okay the Hanzo is using his E I'm gonna shield and then hit back hit back that's basically what you do and if this gets too hot surprise surprise you fall back to the next corner and like for example you're, you're a few minutes in the game you have healthy enemy team they're stacking five ults and there's a Moira ult a Lucia ult coming your way maybe a Kiriko ult like, don't be afraid to just fall back, fall back, fall back. Your entire team behind you, fall back, fall back, fall back. Let them keep the point. Like, let them get a tick or two. And then, when all their ults have run out, then you start to make your way back to the point. This is basically how you defend the first point in King's Road. Now, moving on. You've, you've lost the first point. It's a miracle. You've lost the first point in your ELO game. Now, this is the second best arch to hold. So, what you do, again, here, you swing and... Like, preferably, the card will be right here, and you can hide behind the card, swing, swing. If it's if it's getting too hot, you fall back. If they come, you swing again, you swing, you shatter. It's very easy to hold. But yeah, like, once again, they're using all their ults. Just back up, back up, back up, back up. And now you're holding this corner. Like, it's it's so simple. Like, it's it, it may seem so simple, but nobody does this. Like, how many times I just see a Reinhardt, like, go in like this. Oh, swing, swing, swing. Uh, meanwhile, there's a Genji on their healers. Uh, th like he, he's, he's complaining he's not getting healed. He just insta die to a to a Roadhog hook, and he's trying to get a shatter off and just dies. Right. This way, if I'm standing here and holding the card, like the payload's right here, right? The payload's right here. I'm holding here. I'm holding here. Like the enemies have no angle to shoot. They have to go all the way around the card and expose themselves to all my teammates shooting right here. And what I even can do is this. Like if I see, okay, they're shooting. Hitting, hitting, okay, like when they're reloading, okay, they're shooting again, blocking, blocking, blocking. In like worst case scenario, I fall back to the next corner. This is how simple it is, guys. This is how simple it is. If you do this and you are not diamond, my goodness, I don't know what you're doing wrong. Because this is so straightforward, so simple. And also, something very important. Step two communicate with your goddamn team you are the tank you are the backbone you are the leader of the team you make the calls it's not a mercy saying oh my, oh my god guys 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 fall back fall back i think I, I oh there's a genji no that's not what this is you're standing here and you're saying 
Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm contesting, I'm contesting. Okay, I'm shielding, I'm shielding. Shield down, watch out, watch out, watch out. Shield down, okay, I'm falling back, I'm falling back. Okay, team, walk back, walk back, walk back. They're using ults, okay, I'm, I'm contesting, I'm contesting. Can you heal me, can you heal me, okay. Oh, there's a Genji behind me, okay, I don't, I don't care, just, just kill him, there's, there's no pressure. It's 4v1 against the Genji, basically like this. And then, when they're using all ults, just tell your team, back up, back up, wait for ults, back up, back up. This is how you're supposed to be communicating. Like, if you do this, compared to a tank that's just like this, Dead. Like, do you see the difference? You are basically unkillable, you are protecting your team, you're dealing out crazy amounts of damage and con like crazy amount of pressure on defense as well. This is just very easy gameplay on how to defend any point. Now we're gonna go like to the offense part. Now we are on the offensive part. Now, imagine everything I just said is happening. There's a Reinhardt standing here pressuring. There's a Mei on the side, waiting with her little wall to wall you off, like, ah, I got, I'm gonna wall them off and insta-kill them, it's very annoying to deal with. And then you have Junkrat right here, sitting on the health bag, just, just shooting. Just shooting, with a trap in front of him, right here, just shooting. What do you do? I see a lot of things do this. Like, for example, I'm playing an offensive tank like Winston, I do this. I jump in, on the Rhine, I am gonna die within two or three seconds. Right? You don't want to do this. This also does nothing. All you're doing is jumping in. Now I'm going to show you guys another very important point, And that is create space. It is your job to create space for your team. I want that to get, like, to get that in your mind. If you are losing a game where you're like, Oh my god, we really can't do anything. It is your tank's fault. The tank is supposed to give you guys space, the healers are supposed to keep your tank alive, and DPS are supposed to DPS, basically. So, how would I start this fight? I will first off communicate to my Lucio or Genji, listen, I am gonna jump on their backline to create space. I am gonna jump on a main healer like Ana, Mercy, Baptiste. If you want, I'm gonna call out who I'm jumping on, and you can help me DPS. Now, the thought process is, if I fight the Reinhardt, Mei, and Junkrat right here, there's nothing I can do. Like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna kill all three? Like, my DPS have no space, they're getting spammed, they're getting shot at, like, they can't do anything. So how do you solve this problem? I jump over the three threats that are standing right here. And I'm jumping on a main healer that's standing here or here or whatever. I, sh I bubble myself, forcing the Reinhardt if he's smart to put up a shield and walk back a lot of Reinhardts will just go and charge me and I can just sidestep it easily the Junkrat will be forced to help his team or walk back or he's basically in a 1v4 and the Mei is also seeing this and like oh no I need to help because they cannot kill a Winston with just Reinhardt it's it, like I will kill everyone in the back line I, I will kill all, I, I will kill both supports so, what is happening, I created space for my team to walk in, and now my team can go to the right, they can go to high ground right here, they can go to the left, like they can, can, can contest the Junkrat, and in the Junkrat's here, they can even go for a flank, uh, or whatever. So, my job is done, create space. Now, the second part is, that I want to show with Winston, I see a lot of people do this with Winston. They just jump in, like this, they shoot, and they're like, oh my god, uh, there's, like, I, I, I kill the support and I see three people running at them and they do this. And they die. That's what I see, like, in lower elos with Winston nine times out of ten. Now, what should you do? Pay close attention what the difference is. I'm jumping in with Winston. I'm using melee just before I land to create an extra burst damage. I'm on, I'm on the Zenyata, I'm on Ana, whatever. I killed the Ana. In, in the best case scenario, I kill the Ana. I don't have to kill her. But if I kill her, it's best case scenario. It's basically an insta win, right? Now, I have four people aggroing on me. What do I do? So, I have two options. If I'm really low, I will jump back to my main healer and get healed up. Or if I'm not low, what I do is, is this. Instead of jumping, like, horizontally, what I do is this. I jump in the air. I go on my next target. And now, as you can see, my jump's already back up. 
come back because when you're in the air for like two and a half seconds it's already recharging and if i do this i have five seconds to survive and would i rather have five seconds to survive or two and a half seconds two and a half seconds jump back up it is so hard to kill me when I'm doing this. And I created space. I might have assassinated uh, backline. Because in a lot of low elos. Like for example. I, I, like I jump on a sojourn. Next to a Moira. I am killing the sojourn. And the Moira is not even healing. Like this will happen so many times. When you're playing a low elo. I can't even uh, imagine. But I understand. You're looking at this video. And you're thinking. Yeah but this is ideal scenario. Like you don't know my games. Like things go wrong. People get picked. Like it's pure chaos. Let me show you a few clips of my in-game uh, moments where I take it step by step on how to actually uh, how to actually deal with these situations in a real game. So yeah, let's hop let's hop into uh, those replays. Okay, guys, in this clip, I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been telling you on how to play your tank, and I'm gonna show it in an actual game where obviously things go wrong, and like this is gonna be a more realistic example. Because in your low elo games, or like even mid elo games, things are definitely gonna go wrong. People can't position, people will get caught. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to deal with that and how to be the like the backbone of your team. That's basically what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my perspective uh, as Reinhardt to show what I do in this scenario. Okay, so the round is starting, you can already see Hanzo is completely out of position, Bastion is in Narnia, just chilling. The Hanzo is, yeah, I mean, all alone. Nine times out of ten he's gonna die or he's not gonna have an impact. And right now, my main objective is stall and be the backbone of my team and contest the card. But the thing is... Actually, I'm gonna pause here. What a lot of people do on tank here is they go in and they suicide. The only thing I need to do right here is contest the card, make sure they can't push. And if they put too much pressure on me, like if they put too many resources into killing me, I just back up. That's my job. That's what you see here. I'm just, I'm just being a menace. And when I see, okay, there's four people all shooting me, I'm just backing up. I'm backing up, I'm backing up. Make sure my healers behind me are protected. See, they're putting a lot of pressure on me. Hanzo died in uh, God knows where. I'm not overextending. All I'm doing is, is stalling time. I'm stalling time. And let's be real. This looks like a really bad scenario, right? Like, we're completely getting rolled. There's, there's, there's absolutely no counterplay. Our DPS just died. Um, our Lucio is low. Th this seems like they have all the momentum, right? And they do. So I'm like, this is the perfect example of how to crush another team's momentum just by being there in a presence. Because a lot of people will be like, oh no, I need to kill someone. No, your job as a main tank is to create space for your team and be the backbone, contest the card, stuff like that you don't need to go in and kill everyone that's that's like later on when you can go on with your lucio speed boost in shatter and stuff like this so you see my baptiste gets rolled in the back so i know okay my healing is limited i only have a lucio so i'm playing extra defensive right now waiting for response i'm still contesting the card Whenever I can. Like they're having a hard time getting me out this spot. You see? And now, after the respawns have come, you can see how easily we actually managed to win this fight. Imagine if I just had went in and suicided. The fight would have been over instantly. We would have instantly lost the point. People would have flamed each other. But I just kept telling my healers and my and my team, back up, back up, back up. Okay, I'm contesting the card. Heal me. Back up, back up, back up. No shield. Okay, I'm contesting the card. Back up. That's what I've... Like, that was my voice comms the entire time. So I just want to show you guys, this is how you 
make sure you are the backbone. You don't, you cannot die as a tank. If you die as a tank, it's literally over. For the last replay, I want to take you guys to Dorado because this is a really easy map to hold. But I don't see a lot of teams holding. And once again, it's basically on the tank to defend. So what a lot of people do here right now, like, and you're not wrong. What a lot of people do is they hold right here. They're standing here with a Reinhardt or whatever. And they're shooting down and everybody's shooting at each other, having fun. Right, right, right. This is where you should stand in like higher elos. When you're lower elos, don't make it so hard for yourself. There's only one spot you need to defend, and that is going to be the arch. So you will see what I do right here. I'm holding corners. Like, I don't want to be in the open swinging because I will just die. Like, for example, if I charge in here or I just go in, I will just instantly die. All I have to do is be the backbone of my team and hold this position, right? I almost got walled off. So you can see like how on the edge of overextending I already was. And for a lot of people, this is probably like playing uber safe. And I was already almost dead. So right here, I'm just backing up. I'm shielding. And now the, the, the point where you move in to contest is when the cart is in the middle of the arch. Because the cart is actually serving as cover for you. Because if I were to contest earlier, I would have been shot from every different side. But right now, because I'm moving forward, I am contesting the card. Right now, I have cover. And you see there's a Winston jumping in my backline. That's not my job to take care of him. Like, I see a lot of Reinhardt charging back, swinging at the Winston. No, my job is to keep the card there and make sure the enemy DPS and support cannot support their Winston. And as you can see, their first attack fails miserably okay so i fast forwarded actually to the last fight because the rest were just like a bunch of skirmishes where the enemies just ran in and died this is their last major offensive they're using they're gonna use all their ults they have they have a lot of ults banked up and i'm gonna show you how i deal with all this pressure coming at me because they're all coming from the same side just trying to pressure me off the card spot and i'm gonna show you what i do in this fight So there's a lot, there's a lot going on. There's a May ult, there's a Reaper flanking, there's a Diva jumping in. And if you look at Torbjorn, he's doing the absolute worst thing you can do. He's jumping in front of all of them. And now you can see the difference of what I am doing. I am actually backing off and securing our flanks before I go back in. Because imagine if I follow the Torbjorn, go in. I would get frozen, even if there wasn't even a May ult. I would get flanked from every side and that's basically Reinhardt's biggest weakness. So look what I do first. <clears throat> I contest the Reaper on the side, so he has to shift into his team. If I went to the card straight away, I would have 100% instantly died. And right now, right side is completely secured. The Reaper just basically had to shift in the fight, which is really bad for the Reaper. You don't want to be shifting in the fight. And they, they had no momentum coming in there because like their two their two main DPSs were taking out were taken out of the fight instantly. And then it's only Diva and two supports against the rest of my team who used molten core, and that's basically it. We, we used one ulti to defeat them. But I cannot stress enough, if I had went to the cart instantly, we would have 100% lost that fight. I would have been insta-killed and all of their DPS could have been focused on my, on my uh, squishies. So yeah, I just want to show you guys, if you have any more questions about how, playing, how to play tank, feel free to leave it in the comments. I do read all the comments and if there's anything I missed, feel free to let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Peace.